Hello, my name is Jujun and welcome back to Gran Turismo Sport. So, finally, we should be able to complete the Sunday Cup today in this uh, video. I will, of course, be starting with Race 5, the Nuremberg GP circuit, and perhaps going back to solve that issue with the gold uh, cup there, uh, as it is currently silver. So. As always, the Genesis, but this time on a circuit I actually haven't played yet in the entirety of Gran Turismo Sport, because the Nuremberg Ring is one of the higher unlocks in the game. You can play it on a custom race, uh, which is uh, not the arcade mode, or not the default arcade mode at least. Uh, you can go into this like editor where you can, you know, do 99 laps or whatever. Um, but I haven't really messed around with that side. And I haven't messed around with the online at all, really. I've done those etiquette videos which you have to do, which are a bit... Like, they could have done something else, but you have to watch two two-minute videos in order to play online. But I don't really like how the online is, because it's set at times where you have to be there. Uh, I think. That's how it looks, anyway. Quite far back on the GP circuit, and this one... Quite a tight set of corners. But it is a quite a remarkable location, or rather it's a very well-known location. Heavy on the brake. Very heavy on the brake. Wow, he's gone straight off. What is up with the AI? <laughs> They just... Actually, I know what it is. They're, um... They're imitating me with all of the uh, cuts I have to do for this video. <laughs> no. Um... I'm not a very good driver in this game, but... Screw it. Doesn't matter. I, uh... Tell you something I have been doing in this game before the leagues came out. Of course, I've been playing the arcades, which you've seen in the first two videos, hopefully. Oops, that's not going to be a clean race bonus now. Um... But... I was doing the like driving challenges where you have to like learn about understeer, oversteer, or you don't have to do these, but you can. And every eight of them you do, you get a vehicle. And so I was doing those, and they are wow, they are quite easy to begin with, but some of them you have to break at the exact right time, or break less than it tells you to or warns you to. Um, and I just kept going off the track constantly, much like that pink car there. Uh, but kept going off the track pretty much all the time. And, uh, yeah, I almost rage quit a couple of those. I'm only on the intermediate ones. I'm not sure if it just goes beginner, intermediate, and then hard unlocks, because it says I've currently done 83% of the uh, challenges so far. Done all the beginner ones and done. Uh, 16 of the intermediate ones, just got 8 more to go. But when I completed the beginners, all of the intermediates unlocked, so maybe there's, you know, another 24 challenges to do. And another 3 cars to unlock after I've unlocked the last one. But, so far on the GP circuit, we've only got 2 laps to do. But it's been going just fine. Another very slow corner hit. Wow, I nearly took the wrong path. Ah, right, yeah, double, double corner there. I would have been probably disqualified if I cut both of those corners. In fact, almost certain that would happen. Oh yeah, that road coming off there is the rest of the circuit. This is just for championships and stuff. But, yeah, in terms of Gameplay, uh, if any of you guys uh, and girls watching uh, don't own the game yet and have just the basic PlayStation. Oh, that was that was really bad. Um, just the basic PlayStation is buttery smooth at 1080p. Uh, I think the game has 2K textures and I have a feeling they're probably upscaled a bit, but that's fine. The game looks good. Uh, yeah, it's 60 FPS and that feels smooth enough. Uh, some people say the graphics are pretty bad, hey camera, uh, but I don't think they're that bad. 
I don't think they are as big as a improvement as they could have been. Uh, well, actually, no. Could have been to the wrong phrase. They're not as, like, wow, this is so impressive compared to last generation, because... And again, I had the thing of not playing Gran Turismo 4. So, previously I played Gran Turismo 3, and, you know, that's PlayStation 2 graphics. That's fine for the time. And then I went to Gran Turismo 5, you know, jump two... Uh, jump one game uh, from Gran Turismo 3 to GT5 and therefore the graphics were just so much better and I was just very impressed and again that was seven years ago almost eight uh, well no, definitely seven years ago um, it was 2018 well wow. but yeah the game is good if you just like to be chilled out racing abuse the AI a little bit and you know just look at some pretty cars and drive basically a bit of a fantasy game you know not in terms of you know not in terms of you know you know I'm saying that too much not in terms of elves and magic fantasy but not many people are going to be able to drive all of these really fancy cars unless you know you're fortunate enough to have a really good job just vast wealth or a lot of contacts who can get the cars for you uh, I certainly don't see myself doing that anytime soon. And we should be fine. We don't need to break. Oh god, that guy came out of nowhere. He's gonna overtake me if I'm not careful. Classic bit of Alfa Romeo 4C launch edition. <laughs> almost ruining my race. You almost got me. Lovely. Sunday Cup Race 5. Done. So now we've completed the Sunday Cup. I wonder. Uh, yeah, we got a car handicap. Didn't get the clean race as I thought we didn't because we shunted that guy before. New car though, 28 miles complete, and that's done. So, what do we get? Don't get anything? Ugh, oh, man. Maybe it's because we have to get gold across the board. Let's try and get gold. Let's do it quick. And try not to get beaten by that Civic. Or the 4C. <laughs> Which is our nemesis currently. I'm sure the Genesis can do it. It can do all of the other ones. And this is, you know, lap one. Race one for most people. And I'm assuming most people who play this game will be able to do it first time. Just not me. Let's try and rectify that mistake now. I just not. I've just got to not bash the sides. Too much power. I need to break a little bit more ore rather than breaking. Just keep a good driving line. That's off the track immediately. And uh, maybe let off the accelerator if necessary. Like now. So I can get a better line right behind this guy. Maybe spin him out a bit. <laughs> I'm not trying to ruin the game. But I kind of find these tracks a little dull. There's always... Oh my voice. <clears throat> There's always a... Um, a track like this where it's just two long straights and two large corners. And they're a little dull. I much prefer the other races. And also, I don't really recognise this track, whereas I recognise something like the Nuremberg Ring. Or... I, I really kind of liked the older maps a lot more. I just shunted that guy and lost some time as well. Um, I kind of like the older maps, like Rome, if anyone remembers Rome. <laughs> but then again, it might just be the nostalgia glasses setting in. Rose-tinted spectacles and all that business. Hmm. If I can't get first place in this, we'll probably have to end it again, and I'll try and do it in my own time and come back in another video and do it that way but at least our ties don't get worn in this beginner's cup anyway 20 seconds that was a better lap than previous uh, that guy I'm not gonna catch the other guys they're much 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 further ahead of them me six seconds ahead 
I thought the Genesis could do it, but I'm clearly mistaken. Final lap, I'm not going to catch them. I might catch these two, but probably not. That guy in red is way ahead. Never going to get him. These three white cars, the one that I'm in and these two here. Might just catch the Civic. Oh, no. Pathetic. I did even worse than previously. Fourth. How bad. Cripplingly disappointing, that. Clean race. I'm not really sure that what that is. I think it's to do with you not going on and off the track so much, but... Oh, we lost. Oh, well. We'll have to come back again in another time. But at least we got four new trophies of the gold variety and one silver. I'll try and do it again, maybe not in the Genesis, uh, or it just might be a learn to play issue and I need to get better. But let's go back to the main menu and hopefully get a new car. There it is. Daily workout completed. And these all look quite high spec. Especially that one back there, that looks like a possible... Ah, oh, we're getting the Nissan instead of the Lamborghini, I think that might have been. Is this a GT... Ah, oh, yeah, it's the rally version of the GTR. I don't own a GTR, but now we do. Excellent. I own quite the number of cars now. Ah, and we also leveled up, so we've unlocked a new map in arcade mode. Uh, I didn't even read the name, but there it is. Anyway. Thank you very much for watching, and as always, I've been Jujin, and I'll be trying to complete that <laughs> first track to get gold in my own time. We'll come back in another video with that. But as I said, thank you very much for watching, and as always, I've been Jujin, and I'll see you chaps and chapettes in the next one.